Now, if you hear uh, running water randomly in your toilet once in a while, more than likely it's going to be your flapper. Now, I've got a flapper for show here. This flapper's got a blister on it. So this flapper, when I took it off, of course, it was already leaking. That little blister will make this flapper leak. Now, this toilet has a different flapper. It's got a flapper that's just a rubber flapper. And the way we're going to test this is we're going to use a dye tablet. I got this dye tablet over at uh, my local Ace Hardware. I went to the toilet section. And there they had a section where the, the tablets were free. You could just take one and... and and this is perfect because now I can test my, my tank or my toilet with this tablet. Now, some people would use food coloring, and that works fine too. In this case, I'm supposed to put the tablet in. It's got the instructions on the packet. You put the tablet in, and you're supposed to wait about a half an hour. That way, the tablet dissolves, and the, and the coloring uh, spreads to the water, and you'll be able to see down in the tank if, if it's leaking or not. Of course, it's got the instructions in it. They're pretty basic. You put it in there, and you wait a half an hour, and, and then you'll know. Of course, you got to make sure that the water in your in your tank, I'm sorry, in the bowl is, is of course still you know clear, There's no no color in it or anything like that. So now we know, and we're supposed to wait a half an hour. So we'll time this thing. It is 10:35, and at 11:05, I should know if this thing is leaking or not leaking. But at 10:55, I could already tell, as you guys can see, that this. This was actually leaking, so now it's time to change this flapper. I had, of course, already gotten the flapper when I went to, to my hardware store, and I had a flapper to replace it with, the right one. They are different sizes, so make sure you have the right flapper before you do this. Now, to change this flapper is really, really simple. I'm not even going to shut the water off. As long as your, your um, toilet is not clogged, you should be okay. As you can see, these two flappers, the new one and the old one, you can see the blister, so that was leaking. Now, as a pro tip, if you wear watches, don't stick your watch in the tank. <laughs> Uh, because porcelain will scratch your watches, so to make sure you take it off. Now, to change this flapper is pretty simple. I already had the right one, so I already know all you got to do is they, they click on, so they're pretty simple to click off. Like I said, as long as your toilet is not clogged, you should be able to do it without shutting any angle stops or the water off or anything like that. Now, the installation is also real simple. You just click it back in place. Like I said before, I already had the right size, so it's pretty simple. The only thing that gets a little bit more complicated that some people struggle a little bit with is, is adjusting the chain. You cannot leave the chain really loose and you can't leave it really tight. So it's it's got to be pretty close. So what I did here, the chain is, of course, a lot longer than, than what you would use because it's designed for different toilets. So I just randomly, I got a pretty average measurement where I would be okay. So I just, I just clipped it on and now I'm going to, Test it on the flapper. It doesn't have to be precise on the first time. You just got to be really close. Now, this lever has a really weird angle to it. So, it's it's real crucial that this one's a little bit tighter. So, as you can see right here, right there, it would have worked, but it just needs to be just a little bit tighter. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to twist the chain a little bit. And that will give me the final adjustment that I need. And once I, I clip it on, I can test it again. And I'll, I, I'll, I'll make sure that it's right. As I, as I said before, the... It's got a weird angle on it, so it doesn't have a lot of play. And that, that looks pretty good right there. I think that's pretty good. Now, like I said before, this is a real simple fix. This old flapper, as you can see, has got that streak up top. And that's where it was leaking. It wasn't leaking much, but it's already leaking. Anyways, it's always good to save water. And I hope this video helps somebody. Go get a dye tablet and test, test your toilet.